A number of studies suggest that exposure to industrial pollutants may affect sexual function, uh, for example, loss of libido, sexual dysfunction, and impotence. This may be due to effects on testosterone levels. In a study of men who ate a lot of contaminated fish, an elevation in PCB levels in the blood was associated with a lower concentration of testosterone in their blood. Testosterone doesn't just play a role in determination of secondary sexual characteristics like facial hair at puberty, but in normal sexual functioning and in overall physical and psychological well-being in adult men. Abnormally low levels of testosterone can lead to decreased physical endurance, memory capacity, loss of libido, drop in sperm count, loss of bone density, obesity, and depression. These so-called endocrine-disrupting compounds that build up in fish may be able to mimic or block hormone receptors or alter rates of synthesis or breakdown of the sex steroid hormones. In children, uh, these pollutants may actually impair sexual development. Uh, boys who were exposed may uh, grow up with smaller penises, though we're only talking about two-thirds of an inch at most. Uh, we're not sure if the effects on penis length are due to the pro-estrogenic effects of the toxins or the anti-testosterone effects. In fact, you can even expo if you expose uh, cells from aborted fetal human penises to these kinds of dietary pollutants, gene expression related to genital development is affected even at real-life exposure levels. Uh, these toxins are found predominantly in fish, uh, but also meat and dairy with the lowest levels in plants. You've heard of uh, save the whales? Well, male reproductive organs may be at risk from environmental hazards.